Hey guys, we're back again. Uh, I've got a different kind of jig head. This is, uh, I ordered this off of Amazon. It said 30 cents a piece. I thought there would be 50 in the pack, but there's only 30 and they cost $15. So that is 50 cents a piece and they're not worth it. Uh, this little wire bait keeper here, you try to twist it off and it messes up the whole jig head. The jig head just comes apart. So I just had to cut that little, uh, little hook on the end of it off but I won't be ordering any more of these so let's go ahead and get us some thread laid down just going to tie this back about halfway to the hook tip 50 cents a piece is too much for a jig head so I've got some hackle feather so let's go ahead and get it measured off I've got some pink and black just trying to match it up with the jig head uh, those bomb bite jig heads they're much better uh, you get 40 of them for like $14 uh, and that wire keeper hook there you can just uh, you can just take and twist it off on those doesn't mess the jig head up But I've got these and I've got to try to use them up, so we'll see what we can do with it. Bear with me here while I cut these hackle feathers. I got me a fly rod the other day. Uh, I never have tried to cast one of those in my life so that ought to be interesting uh, go ahead and put some Sally Hansen before we get started I'm going to tie my two black ones on the bottom on each side of the jig head or each side of the hook so we've got one of our black ones we're just going to come right over here on the bottom go ahead and tie it in then we'll get our other one come right on this side of the hook and tie it in and now we'll get our pink and we're going to tie all these right on top just to keep our pink hackle up where the pink part of the jig head is or try to Okay, right there's what we've got so far. I believe we do want to tie a little crystal flash in this. Uh, I have got some pink crystal flash we're going to use on this. I'm just going to cut me off a couple of pieces of it. And we will fold it and give it another cut. just lay that right back on top of our hook I'm going to give this four or five wraps to get it secured in good and we'll pull this back as well and come right back down to where we tied everything else and we'll get in here with our scissors and go ahead and we've got plenty of flash in it so all we're going to do now is just build this thread up slope it from the head back toward the back that should be good got my whip finish tool sitting under my camera 
We'll go ahead and do our five turn whip finish. Pull it tight and get in here and cut our thread. Instead of UV resin, I'm just going to use uh, Sally Hansen on this. Just give it a good coat of Sally Hansen, give a nice shine to it. Help protect those threads, and I'll just go over the jig head too. Why not? Okay, let's get it out. See if we can take a look at it. So we got our pink and black. Not too awful bad. Guys, as always, appreciate you watching these videos. Uh, our views have went way down as well as our uh, subscribers. Uh, haven't been this low in probably a year. So uh, I'm going to keep tying a little, see how it goes, see if it picks up some. And uh, we'll go from there, I guess. But I do appreciate you watching. If you liked the video, just take a second, hit that like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.